A question that's come up a few times is about how to create blogs and Bootstrap Studio. Uh, this is not the most recent version, uh, not on this computer. Anyway, it's still Bootstrap 4.3, I think it's Bootstrap 4.4 is the uh, one at the moment, but really it's it's relevant. It's, all this is is uh, basically the same design f interface thing here as it's been for a while. So anyway, on here we just go for a clean blog, which is um, part of Bootstrap Studio's themes. And when that loads up, we get this. And this is fair enough just to, you know, get you going and that really. Um, and of course, WordPress and things like that. Uh, uh, blogs, blo blog platforms, um, and the thing with them, the advantage is, is that they update better. Um, but with Bootstrap Studio, using a blog is cheaper when you put it up online. And it also, you can do things manually like the dates, which I'm going to show you here. So on here, for example, this is uh, September 24th, 2018. Like I said, the interface is quite the uh, interface themes have been around on here for a while and this is 2018 it's probably been there a few years um <clears throat> but all you would need to do is change this manually just text uh, just writing text it's easy enough for that um and it is it is quite easy what you would need to do is change the image which is down on here and what you what there's two main reasons what you would do to change change the image. One is getting the images to be 150, I always say 150 kilobytes or less, because you've got to think about people who have slow internet connections and um, people from all over the world have different speeds of connection. And uh, so you've got to think about these things. So images 150 kilobytes or less that's what i would always go for and when you're doing an image right across the, sc the screen so that is now computer or laptop and uh, it also has tv as well uh, <coughs> as well as mobile phones and many other things um but what what it is is i would always make a 900 width so i'm guessing this is what these have used uh, just go to this one here 1900 by 1267 and if you can see that 106 kilobytes that one um, the next page is the same size but 81 kilobytes so that, so that's the, this is about what you want but you whatever your blog is about whether it's about gardening whether it's about computers whatever you're going to blog about you just put your images on and, and whatever and what you got to do is net is 1900 width is the main thing the height not so much but if you look at uh, this one this is my website this here is of course uh, right across the screen and this is 1900 and i think this is 1900 by 800 so the width is essential the height not so much you can play about and tweak with that so that's what you need to do um on this uh one here this theme I'll just put this down to this now what you what you really want to do is where it says i'll just go back because it's uh, gone into the menu bar thing um with the home you put recent uh stories or blogs or whatever you want to do there and about us that's uh optional and, and contact us you could put that anywhere really but you know you have a page for it if you want blog posts i'll put these as uh, older ones and i th think if i remember this has got one a link down at the bottom of this yeah so this here all the posts just put that to uh old blogs or something like that and you can call the links anything you want of course so about us you could actually put that on on this page here the home page um but of course a lot of that's as i say optional and basically that's what you do with the thing with uh, bootstrap studio and and 
that does have advantages and disadvantages with WordPress or something like WordPress. WordPress, I think it really is, I think it's a grind. Whereas with Bootstrap Studio, the good things about it is that it's easy to keep up really. Um, the disadvantage with, uh, as, as I say, it's, uh, WordPress has all your dates and things when you do it by default. Uh, but it's easy enough to get around that. But as well, WordPress is quite expensive. And um, if you're paying more as well for security and stuff like that, it can run quite expensive. So if you want any more details on how I do blogs and things like that, uh, just get back to us. So thanks for watching this video.